Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Evidence of Bigfoot. I'm your host Jason Colley. Today we're going to be talking about Bigfoot and agriculture. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Down in the tax end. Uh, roly poly oly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in Lance's Corners. We're on our way to check it out. So, what do you think, folks? Do you think Bigfoot hangs out in sunflower patches? All right, folks. So, we're here at this uh, this sunflower garden, like a thing, and. Uh, I'm just gonna go out. We're gonna go out and walk out there, and I'm gonna talk about um, about Bigfoot and also the connection between you know the agriculture ways of Bigfoot. And you know, some people have seen you know Bigfoot in you know cornfields, and I mean, of course, it's food. You know, they're gonna they're gonna go to those spots. And the same thing with this. You know, we're gonna talk a little bit about the sunflowers. And also the um, the possible connection between the sunflowers and uh, Bigfoot. Uh, we're just going to be utilizing one of the subjects on the agriculture stuff, but we're going to be talking about sunflowers today. So uh, enjoy still. And uh, again, if you have any comments or anything, uh, please feel free to uh, jot them down on my comments here in the video. Let's go check it out. Okay, so the sunflower. So, what is a sunflower? It's a flower with many, many attributes. Like you can eat the seeds, you can dry it out. Any part of this is actually edible. Now, why would Bigfoot eat this? Well, like I was saying, there's many, many, many things out of it that you can get. Sunflower seeds itself is absolutely delicious and very good. And the individual that has this, I mean, this actually goes way out through there. The individual that has this literally made it for the bees he made it for the bees the bumblebees there's bumblebees the honeybees all kinds of bees look at these and uh, right there's a honeybee right there and he says the reason why we do it that way is it makes the best honey he says in the state so why would Bigfoot come in here? Well, he could have a <laughs> field day, literally, eating all of these. I mean, it goes for miles. Well, not miles, but I think he said 600 and some acres of sunflowers. And you have uh, many different types of bugs and everything out there very interesting indeed it's awestruck to a point you know but you know like I was saying if you're here once you leave you just never know you could turn really squatchy really fast At night be a great place to do an expedition for sure maybe in the future maybe in the future 
but that's my theory on it all you know my percentage uh if i get a if i give a percentage look at that one way out there i mean that thing is way high i mean they're not really high you know they're about uh five and five feet four four feet yeah but like i said if i if i was going to get a percentage on this like uh like what's the odds of bigfoot coming to this field what's the odds of bigfoot traveling and coming into this area what's the odds honestly i would give it probably like over in this area coming in whatever probably a good uh 75 to 85 percent maybe and the reason why I, I didn't uh, concur up to 90% is just the location of it. It's not really deep woods. I mean, there is woods around, but it's not deep, you know, deep, deep woods. So this is, this is pretty cool. The next time you're at one, something like this or you're at your corn stocks or wherever you're at, just think, Bigfoot definitely could be around. So this is Jason Colley from Evidence of Bigfoot saying, until we meet again, keep it squatchy.